Mystic is a new lube produced by Cubicle Labs. It's plant-based and it's designed to speed up your cube and increase its smoothness. Because it's the first plant-based cube lubricant, I didn't know what it would be like, but I kind of assumed it would be somewhat similar to water-based lube. Part of that assumption was because it came in a small bottle just like you'd get for Maru or any other water-based lube. Speaking of the bottle, Mystic looks really cool inside of the bottle. It's all dark and wavy, and it's really nice to look at. Anyway, I first tested out Mystic by putting some in my GAN Air SM. When I was lubing the Air SM, I was planning on putting one or two drops of Mystic into the cube, but that relies on the assumption that it would come out in drops. In reality, it came out sort of like how toothpaste comes out of the tube, in one solid stream. I was caught off guard, but I still put a decent amount into the cube, and then started breaking it in. Immediately, the previously dry and sluggish cube sped up dramatically, and the feel changed as well. I immediately did some solves on it to test out the performance, and that's when it occurred to me what plant-based lube was really like, at least in the case of Mystic. Mystic was advertised as something that would make your cube faster, but it doesn't do that in the same way that a water-based lube would. Instead of making the cube really fast for a short period of time and then going back to normal, Mystic makes your cube slightly faster, and this effect lasts much longer. I actually like this much better. As much as I love DNM, I never want my cubes to be that fast. Mystic gets them to the right speed, and it stays there. With Mystic, your cube will be fast in the sense that there won't be much resistance when you turn, but it won't be the kind of fast that makes the layers spin out of control, and I didn't realize exactly why until later. We'll get to that in a minute. In terms of the smoothness that Mystic is supposed to provide, it's more of a dry smoothness as opposed to the silky smooth feel you'd get with a thick silicone based lube. I actually prefer the silicone lube feel, but I can totally see how some people would really like how Mystic makes your cubes feel. To test it out some more, I put some Mystic in my polymer coated GTS2M, which had become too slow because of some lube I had put in it previously. Again, it was immediately faster. I was even more impressed this time, because the Mystic brought the cube to a perfectly balanced speed that I had never been able to achieve before. I got some really good times on this cube when I was recording solves, albeit keyboard solves which is kind of cheating, but whatever. And then I decided to look at the pieces. When I took out an edge, I was shocked to see that it looked and felt completely dry, but that does explain the dry smoothness that Mystic has. So do I like Mystic? I'd say so. It does more or less exactly what it's supposed to do, and although I don't love the feel it gives, the ability to slightly change the speed of a cube is very useful for me. I'd say that Mystic is at least worth testing out to see if you like the dry smoothness that I've been talking about, and if you're picky with how fast your cubes are, I think you'll like Mystic for that as well. So if you want to get some Mystic, it's available in 3cc and 10cc bottles from thecubicle.com, which you can get to through the link in the description. And remember, using Brody the Cuber as a discount code will save you 5% on your order. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to check out all my awesome content that I'm going to make in the future. And leave a comment telling me whether or not you're going to get Mystic, I'm very curious to know. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Brody, signing out.